Tiny Tape Out aims to be a really simple and quick way for you to get involved in the open source silicon movement. It's for makers, hobbyists, high school students and open source silicon enthusiasts. In the future, we will have some great lesson plans that will be available free, but for now, we're just demonstrating the technology and I'm asking people to get involved, create a design and submit it so that we can test the framework. You'll be building your designs using Walkway, which is a point and click graphical user interface to draw simple digital designs. And then you'll be using a GitHub action to build the GDS files that we send to Skywater Foundry to get the chips made. You don't need to download any tools. It's all done in the browser. 100 by 100 microns is pretty small, but you can still fit in a couple of hundred gates and that's enough to do some quite interesting things. Once your design is submitted, I'll be adding it to 497 other designs and we'll be putting it together with eFabless and getting it submitted onto the MPW7 shuttle. The deadline is 1st of September. Depending on demand, we will be offering a PCB with your chip soldered to it, so make sure you check that option in the submission form. The whole process will take between 15 minutes and a couple of hours depending on how deep you want to get into the digital design. So now I'm going to walk you through all the steps you need to do to get your design submitted. The first thing we're going to do is open the Wokwe template and we're going to make a copy of that. And then we can resize this because the only part we're interested in is this part on the right hand side. In simulation mode we can play around with this template and see how the dip switches which are connected to the inputs of your digital design affects the outputs which are by default connected to this seven segment. Now I'm going to delete all of these. I can click them and hit the delete key. Delete these as well. And now I'm ready to make my own design. So to copy one of these standard components, you can press D. And what I'm going to do is connect it up so that when I put in an input I will get uh, the segment on the right hand side looking like an M on its side or like a, a 3 for the 7 segment display so I'll connect up these pins here and then just check that that works so put it in simulation mode and I can check yep switching that on makes it like an M OK, but maybe I want to make it a bit more complicated. I'm going to make it so that I have to set the first four input pins to all be on. So I'll do that with some AND gates. And basically the two inverters will cancel each other out. So when the four first inputs go high, I'm expecting the M to go on. So let's check that out. And there we go. Those don't do anything because they're not connected. And then setting any one of these to be off will turn it off. Apart from that first one, because that's also connected to this clock. So if you want to do sequential logic, then you can use that first input. OK, so now it's very important to save your design. And now what we're going to do is take the design and get that digital design made into the ASIC files that we need to submit to the shuttle. So go to the GitHub template repository click the use this template button name it if you don't have a github account you'll need to create one and then we need to edit the make file which we can do 
inline here in the browser and take this ID number at the top from Wokwe and change that ID to the one that we want. Make sure that's correct and then we just have to commit changes which is a way of saying save this file and then when we've done that it will automatically start the github action and the github action is a way of automatically doing a job so here we take a look at the currently running job and it's going to do a whole load of stuff which I will speed up very fast now it takes about four minutes in total and it installs the process design kit and the open lane ASIC tool flow and then it takes that digital file and builds the GDS files and now we're done. If you do get a problem here then uh, check the FAQ for solutions and how to let me know that there's a problem and then we need to submit so we go to this form put your email address in paste in the URL for your GitHub repository. Say yes and yes if you want to get your chips back and the chip on a PCB. And that's pretty much it. Congratulations. So let's take a slightly deeper look at the output of that GitHub action. All these things happened and some of them made result files and some of those result files got saved and you can have a look by downloading this artifacts file so the first thing you can do is take a look at that GDS render file and then tweet it out on your social media and link to the tinytapeout.com website that would be really appreciated so that's the design and then here we've got the source that made it there's a bit more information in the FAQ if you want to know more but this is the Verilog and by taking a look at that you can see how Wokwe has turned your diagram into the Verilog. And then in runs, we have a, a report file from Yosish, which is a synthesis tool. And you may see some different things here. For example, what Yosis has done is realized that it can replace all those AND gates and inverters with a single gate, a four input AND gate, and then throw away everything else. And because Yosis is trying to keep things small and optimized, it does that. And these other cells, the DLXTP and the SDFXTP, are part of the scan chain. And that's how we put together all of these designs into one big design. And then we've got the final results. Again, check the FAQ for a bit more of a description, but the most important ones are the uh, gate level Verilog, which is the actual real set of standard cells, which includes fillers and decoupling capacitors and the power supplies. And we've got the GDS file, which is like the P a PCB file that you would send away to get your design manufactured, but specifically for ASICs. And then we've got this big CSV file, which is a bit too deep for me to go into, but is an interesting insight into all the different outputs that we're getting from running the open lane tools. So that's it. Make sure you sign up to the mailing list and I'll keep you up to date with how the submission progresses. Mm -hmm.